Hi everyone, Harley here. Just doing a bit of seeking here today in the, the woods and I'll see if we can um, locate anything. Anything comes up, um, I'll get back to you soon. Hi, right, just doing a bit of a wrap up now. Um, unfortunately, I've lost all the footage of my digs today. Um, the camera uh, didn't seem to be going when I thought it was and I got home and I got um, just a lead shot um, into this and now I can just give you the wrap up unfortunately. So I'll show you what I got today. Um, I've got a few interesting finds. got a 19, um, 1943 threepence. I don't know if the camera is going to focus in on that very well. It's a 1943 threepence. It's a silver. Happy with that. I got a 1867 Britannia one penny, which is pretty old for here in New Zealand since our first settlers arrived here in 1948. The gold rush began in 1861 and this is in 1867, so that's pretty old for us here in New Zealand. I got a 1908 uh, Britannia one penny as well. So both of these are pretty pretty well worn, are um, quite deep in the ground when I found them, probably six, seven inches. Um, I got a few other coins, um, just a New Zealand decimal, 10 cent piece, um, a one cent uh, New Zealand decimal, um, that's pretty toasted. Two five cent uh, New Zealand coins, you just about can't make out anything on those. Um, uh, you can just barely see the five cents on uh, that one there. That's all I've got as, as far as coins are concerned. Um, I've got quite a few wee small uh, bits and pieces today. Just wee bits and pieces. I'm unsure what that is. Um, I've got a wee tag here. It's, um, it's got a wee tree on it. And um, yeah, I'm unsure what it's actually off. I've got a, uh, an old button. Nothing written on it, so un unsure, but um, yeah, it's a, it's a nice wee button. Um, pretty good finding that. Um, I got what looks to be perhaps um, the back off a, a watch case, maybe. It looks something like that. Some sort of an old uh, washer type thingy. Some more wee small bits and pieces. Um, here I'm unsure what they are. Um, Unusual piece of uh, something here, some sort of, yeah, unsure. <laughs> um, wee small pieces of lead, um, wee small bullet, I'm unsure um, what exactly that uh, that is, what calibre. Uh, bullet casing, once again it's uh, an old one, unsure of the calibre, I can't make out what it is. Um, what's left of a, a 22 case. Um, wee small bits of uh, lead, I'm still unsure what these are. Bit of screwed up uh, tin foil, sort of made into a bit of a shape. I wonder if it's been used on a, um, a bow and arrow or a um, crossbow or a slingshot or something, something like that perhaps. Other wee small pieces of, um, of metal here. A little unusual sort of a, a brass um, fitting of some sort, I'm not sure what that is. Three bits of, um, of iron here, um, yeah, whether it's iron ore, I'm, I'm not really too sure. Another wee brass fitting, um, round one, and maybe off a, um, an old binoculars or something like that perhaps. Um, I'm not sure what this is, this is um, yeah, very unusual. Um, it's a bit damaged on one side, but um, yeah, it obviously used to be on something by the bit on the bottom of it but yeah an unusual piece it's um yeah sort of ceramic all around um here i got another old pocket knife today a uh, very very old rusty pocket knife um back in the day here when the first settlers came to uh new zealand in 1948 um of course a lot of them always carry pocket knives for you know, cleaning out pipes and that sort of thing. So, yeah, it's interesting that I keep coming across pocket knives in this um, area of the wood. 
um, got an old spoon. Um, it's not silver, but um, I think it's silver plated. Uh, I can't really make out too much of what's um, written on it. Um, but um, yeah, it's definitely silver, silver plated. It's um, starting to peel off in places. And of course, um, I'm really annoyed I didn't get this uh, bottle. It was, would have been a nice bottle, but um, I just found the broken, the broken part there. An old, um, old ring of some sort. Maybe it's a can that's um, rotted away in the ground. Not a can here. <laughs> Two pieces of, um, of lead. Yeah, quite chunky lead. I don't know what they were doing there. Um, nice array of bottle caps here. Um, yeah, just your, your usual array. Um, what looks to be like an old uh, valve, perhaps out of a valve radio or, or something like that. Um, down that. Old toothpaste container or, or something. Um, tear tabs, bottle caps, pieces of wire. And that's about it. Now, um, I know I've been promising everyone that I'll get out to do a uh, beach detect. Um, but... I just have been unable to, uh, the weather's been wrong for me, everything's been going wrong, but um, I'm hoping to get out um, in the morning. Um, I will definitely be going out beach detecting at some stage in the next few days, weather permitting and um, tides, when the tides are right, that's a big thing here. So, um, thanks for watching, um, I hope that uh, I hope that you've enjoyed this, I know it's very short and it's not much of a, um, a video today, but um, I'm sorry about that, I'm still getting used to this camera and I'm just really annoyed that um, it wasn't a uh, 2 when I thought it was, and um, hence I've got not much footage, so yeah, thanks for watching, um, please comment, um, if you have any comments, if you like, um, Hit the like and um, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. So we'll see you real soon.